Hey guys, this video is a little bit off the norm for me because people ask me all the time, alternatives to Photoshop, alternatives to Shake and stuff. Well, not Shake, that's a little bit misrepresentative. Alternatives to Photoshop, GIMP's too, too complicated. Uh, or, you know, Pixelmator's okay, but I like more of a Photoshop. I don't, for some reason, some people don't like Pixelmator. For some reason, GIMP's too hard for other people. And I have this great free alternative. You can pay $25 a year and have some different options but the free is just wonderful they have six applications avery.com a-v-i-a-r-y they have an image editor a color editor an effects editor uh, image markup a screen capture and an audio editor the audio editor is really nice if I if I pick the audio editor I'll pick it first yeah, so launch Mina it's called or Mina M-Y-N-A and now as you can see we have track one track two track three um, we can have our mu you can import your own music or use some of the intros that they got here of con quantum tracks. I guess it's what it's called, as you can see. And it has all these different intros and stuff you can use. But mainly, it's great to use as a podcast. Or you can take these and add them up here to your track so now it's up there as you can see when I play let's just add a bunch just to add just to make something in here uh, let's go down oddities of rock mega dance I don't know what these are let's just listen to them here Let's do it from the beginning. Okay, you get it. And, and if you have your own instruments or your own music, you can use anything you want. You can use music from your own library. You know, up here, you can file. You can see new, save, import audio. You can... And if you want to import your audio, you can go to browse. Okay, it says here's the deal. You can upload any audio file that you own. Okay. So, let's see here. Let's go to music. I'm not sure if it's going to let us upload iTunes music. It says any music you own, but I really don't think it's going to allow. We will see. And it gives you this description. It wants you to tag your file. Who can see this? All rights reserved. You can pick how much you want. You know, Creative Commons. No one outside. You want anybody to use it? It's pretty nice. And it wants you to do your genre, which will be rock and blues. And this will be good. Let's upload it. And as you can see, it's going to start uploading here. Uploading our file. And I'll be back right just in a second when we get done uploading. Okay, it's now going to ask me if I want to upload another file. I'm going to say no thanks. Now let's go over here and see what we've got here. Imported library. Here we go. It's right here. Let me open this back up so we can see it. Here's our imported file. I'm going to drag it down here. Let's put it right here. Let's delete these other ones by selecting them and hitting delete. And when I hit play, this loser should play from three doors down. Now this was an iTunes file, as you've seen. Very, very, very awesome. You can, I'm not going to go through what all kinds of stuff you can do here, but you know, there, you can throw together a nice little podcast or something. And as I can see here, I'm going to hit the record button. Let's go ahead and mute that track. Hit the record and go back to the beginning. This here can zoom all down, just like Soundtrack Pro. I'm going to hit the record key. And it's going to ask me, yeah, I'm going to allow it. And now as you can see, it's got my Samson C03U. I'll turn the record volume down so it won't be so boomy. There, that looks pretty good. Start recording. Now, this is a test. As you can see, we are doing a podcast. Let's just assume that I'm talking and making my next podcast. Okay, we're going to stop. 
there it is now this is a test as you can see we are you can stop it let you preview it now I'm going to import to my project name we'll just call this test and we'll save it and over here right there is my test and I can I can grab it now bring it down into my project unmute it turn the three doors down track down and turn mine up and you can hear them both let's see now this is a test as you can see we are doing a podcast let's just assume that I'm talking and making my next podcast okay we're gonna stop you see now this is a beautiful free wonderful audio editor that you can do some wonderful audio editing and mixing you can trim the end of the clips you can you can loop the clips as you can see here you can edit the loop end it's you, you can see now I'm just kind of slipping the end bringing the beginning back around all kinds of good little editing stuff you can do here you can change the tone the tempo and they have tutorials and stuff how to do this um, so get on here and see what you think let's you can zoom out here so we can see the whole thing get on here import you some music and 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 see what you can get Mina or Mina, a great free audio editing and podcasting tool. Okay? But that's not all. They have many, many other things as well. Let's check out their effects editor. Let's launch Peacock. This is like a nodal based effects editor online. As you can see, here's our canvas. Let's go up here to our generators. Let's let's add a generator of some kind. How about some Let's look here. Some plaid. Boom. Now as you can see our plaid is down into took down in there, noodle down into our canvas, and here's our result, just like on um, shake. And we have all these effects now we can we can use. Let's try to let's try kaleidoscope. I'm gonna take it and drag it right in between there and you can see it'll connect. And boom, now we have a kaleidoscope, and now we have a kaleidoscope selected. We can go over here and make all these different adjustments as you can see as I do this our kaleidoscope is changing all kinds of really really cool stuff you can do we got effects all these effects we have generators all these generators like gradients and noises we got controllers which is kinda like uh, miscellaneous stuff you know blender here's a blender which I can take more than one and blend it together I can plug it in there and now I can bring another generator in let's check the color here let's make it red be fine you can blend these together let's change our overlay mode there we go and now as you can see here is our original one now we're blended this red in with it we're getting red in the middle here this is really great all kinds of cool stuff you can do UI elements from like sliders here's your slider you can see you can plug stuff in but um, you can get in full with it there's all kinds of cool tutorials on the website and it's free it's awesome and the one that I'm really really impressed with is Phoenix free and it's image own, an alternative to Pixelmator or Photoshop or anything of the like. AVIARY.com. Go to the image editor button. Launch Phoenix. And it's going to launch our user interface. Let's import a file. You can import from Flickr or you can import from any kind of. Um, your computer you can import from Facebook so let's just upload one from my computer here and now we have our file let's go ahead and select it let's select our magic wand tool let's make our tolerance 40 and let's click in the sky and boom let's hold our shift key to add to the selection 
and as you can see that will add to our selection expand our selection let's hit command C and command V to paste that to a new layer and let's turn off our other layers now and hit control D to deselect everything and now let's select our paintbrush here select our eraser tool and let's go in and erase what didn't get picked up there like this not hard to do at all okay now let's just go up to image let's do hue and saturation and boom we have us a green sky that fast this Avery image editor is awesome and I plan on doing several tutorials to show you how to do this because it works and it's free and it's so powerful and the results are so great you guys should check them out at Avery.com I look forward to many tutorials thanks for watching